Hey everybody, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to attach your GoPro onto the new Slide Grom handboard with soft tops. I'll show you what to what to use, what to buy, where to buy it, and how to do it. This is the new Slide Grom handboard. It's a foam, foam top, soft top with an EPS core and a slick bottom. So, I'm going to tell you how to do it, but firstly, let's go through all the stuff that you actually need to do this. Okay, firstly, obviously, you need your GoPro camera. So, uh, any GoPro will do right from uh, GoPro, right from when they started all the th way through to GoPro 5, um, and the other ones that they do, I think they do the, uh, the smaller ones now too. You're going to need the little attachment. Now, this comes pretty standard with um, anytime you buy a GoPro, you're going to get a ton of these. I've actually got probably like 20 of them. This is what you'll need this for. You'll need the little uh, um, connection or uh, insert, which looks very similar to this. Now this you can get on Amazon. Um, we don't actually sell it in our stores, although we will fairly, fairly shortly. Um, but for now you can get them. What we'll do is we'll, in the comments, we'll leave a, um, a link so that you guys can easily find this um, either on Amazon I'm pretty sure that's about the, the best place to find them. Um, so that's what you're looking for. With that, you'll, you'll get the little rubber stopper. Now that also comes stock standard with um, when you buy your GoPro, but just in case you don't, you lost it or what have you, you can get one of those that actually comes in this package. You also get the little rope tether that'll keep your GoPro safe. And um, yeah, I believe that's it. So. Um, when you're looking for this, if you happen to be looking for this, uh, we will put the link, but if you if you want to find one, it actually goes under the name of a Bodyboard GoPro insert. So if you want to look that or Google it up, that's where you'll find that. The other things you're going to need for this job are the little screws. Again, this is fairly stock standard with, with any GoPro. Um, you get a hundred of these. I got so many, I don't know what to do with them. So um, yeah, so that comes with, that'll come with your, with your GoPro. Um, the other things you need to complete the job will be definitely you need a sharp object or um, preferably a screwdriver and what I would suggest is you get a star screwdriver or Phillips screwdriver because that's the best, it's got that point. Um, optional, um, in fact this is actually pretty important with um, if you buy one of these is um, you'll need a pair of pliers or again something sharp that you can cut plastic with. Um, pliers are the best. These come um, with this particular model it actually came quite long like that so really you need it to be about two inches. Now you'll see this further on but I'll give you a quick um, explanation on that is simply the Male and the female need to go, the, the, the female needs to go on the top and the male needs to go on the bottom like that and it basically connects. Now if that's too long you're going to end up with this not being flush on your board. So that's what the, uh, what the pliers are for. You're just going to snip that down to the, to the length but we'll get to that. So next thing you want to do is you actually want to find where on your GoPro, uh, on your, sorry, on your, on your, um, on your slide grom, you actually want your, your GoPro to sit. Now there's a bunch of different options you can have. There's uh, either right in the front, which is pref which is where we'll, we'll be doing this, and where we find it preferential, like we really enjoy having it on the front. That's why all our boards currently all have the GoPro that is inserted on the front, or the little GoPro insert. Um, you can either do it on the sides, like that, Again, these, these are just options for you. Uh, by no means do you have to put them there. I find that like right in the front is perfect because um, you get that great um, preview or like that great shot coming back at you or out in front of you. Um, another place to put it, which is sometimes guys do it, is just behind you like that, which kind of gets an entire view of the board and the wave in front of you, which is kind of cool. So. For this particular uh, demo, what we're going to do is show you exactly where, um, exactly how to put it. We're going to put it actually in the in the front, okay, like that. So, first thing you want to do, you get your shiny new board out of the box, and you have your GoPro um, 
Now don't do this until you actually have this because you're gonna be putting a hole straight through your board. Okay, so you're gonna take the you're gonna take the uh, the um, screwdriver. Now start at the top. Okay, don't do don't do the bottom first. Definitely start at the top. Okay, because you're gonna find exactly. You might want to take a magic marker and just you know make a little mark exactly where you want that that uh, that screwdriver to be. Try to do it as, as 90 degree or perpendicular as, as possible. Is that perpendicular? I'm not even sure. <laughs> uh, to the board, so obviously don't do it at an angle. Okay, you want to go straight through the board like that. You basically just put a pressure. It'll go really easy. There is only EPS foam core in the in the middle of this. It'll go straight through. Then you'll get you'll you'll feel it hit up against the back of this material. Now this material is what they call an HDPE which is high density polyethylene and you just press on that a little so that you know exactly where the um, where you need to make the mark. Then you turn the board over and you just very lightly it's kind of you can even turn it around and then you just push it straight through. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as making the hole. I know that's pretty daunting, especially on a new product. Um, but what's going to happen is going to actually really improve the product. It's not going to damage it. Okay. A lot of people have asked us, um, will the will the foam? It's actually a closed cell foam. So that what that means is that the foam doesn't suck in water. It's closed cell. Okay. So don't worry about all the water getting there and and. Um, uh, you know, uh, it's sucking in the foam. It's actually when I say foam, it's actually it's it's waterproof essentially. Okay. Um, so if you actually notice, your uh, your your inserts are ex done exactly the same on that. So um, feel comfortable in being able to do that. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you want to actually take your male version of your GoPro insert. Okay, this is it. As you can see, it's got these little, um, I put it closer, but as you can see, it's got these little uh, kind of like wings. Now these, what that does is it's, it's serrated, it's actually pretty sharp, is it stops the, the, um, the mount from twisting around in the actual foam like that. So now you have your hole that you've made, you just put it in and you just press down like that, okay? So you see how that's fitted straight. Make sure when you put it in, okay, this is something I actually should have mentioned, is make sure that it is facing out, okay? Next you want your GoPro facing out in that direction. Once you do that, it's pretty much set in stone that that's the direction that you want, want your board. So we definitely recommend that you um, Either use a ruler to make sure that that's kind of directly lined up, and you just press it in like that. So that's set. Um, then you take your male version and you just pull it out a little bit, and you just connect it in there, and you just start to screw. Now, once you get all the way down to the bottom of that, you might want to take a coin and just tighten it. You really want. Um, I'm not going to put this all the way through because I've got some other stuff to show you and I need to take it out. But what you want is you want that really flush on the top like that, okay? And, and you can get that by just screwing it all the way in. So next thing you want to do is you want to actually attach your GoPro, okay? So this is where this little, uh, we'll call it a doodally because I have no idea what it's actually called. Um, you just fit that in. And so that just fits in over there. It's fairly stock standard. If you've used your GoPro before, you'll know exactly how this works. You then take the little rubber piece, like such, and you just put it over there. Okay, this is a rubber stopper. So, okay. Oh, didn't work out so hard. You just twist it in. So now your GoPro is pretty much never going to come out of that unless it uh, you get into a freak wave and it snaps. Um, 
that is pretty much solid. Now, what you want to do is you just want to see how that just clips right into there like that, perfectly, right? So your GoPro is not going anywhere. Now this little rubber piece is just a little stopper that fits directly in the back there like that. So you can actually, so you just press it in there like that. So this is if you're going out in some really heavy surf. Now just to be like extra safe, oh no, what are you doing? Oh. So just to be extra safe, you're given a tether. Now this comes in the GoPro, as I mentioned before, comes in the GoPro mount. Um, in the little package, or at least should. Um, so, the way that we like to um, uh, attach this to the GoPro is, I will do this. I will just put it in in the uh, little metal piece like that. Okay. So let me do that again for you. It's just a loop knot. You you thread this through like that. So now you're holding it like such, and you just take this end, and you put it underneath that. Boom, done. Um, you know what? I did this the wrong way around. Firstly, you're going to want to put this onto that. So um, you see on the actual um, piece there, there's actually a, a little kind of um, like loop that you in, in the plastic that you can put it in. So you do the same on that. And then this is where you go through on this. You just loop it in like such. Now you want to drag it in and just fold it all the way over the entire camera. And so now there's no knots, nothing like that. It's just a straight connection. Now that way, if this fails or something like this breaks, um, then basically your um, your GoPro is still going to be attached to because this thing is never coming out. Um, and so basically, what will happen is your GoPro will just you know will have snapped off and it'll just be floating like that and attached to your board. Now, the other option you can just to make it double extra straight safe and we very very much recommend it is to have the little orange piece on the end that, there like that, which. Um, which is great because it actually um, makes the um, the GoPro uh, buoyant. So even if you do lose it, you can see it because it's bright orange, right? So now you have that. Just make sure that that is closed. Kind of a top tip that we uh, recommend highly is uh, make sure that your GoPro is set up, ready to go, that you don't need to open it. Make sure that you put the SD card in. Make sure that you have it fully charged before you go out, because what will happen is when you actually open this up and you open and you break that seal, a lot of moisture gets in, and the minute that you get into the cold water um, and even the hot water, the temperature difference inside will make this steam up really quickly, and it completely ruins all your shots. Now you can get inserts that GoPro do sell. Um, that sucks up the moisture but honestly just keep the inside of this super dry by not opening it up at the at the beach if you really 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 need to make sure that you're super dry your hands are dry um, everything around you is dry because it will get moisture in there I've done it I've like so many different times where I've gone out and looked around and all I've got is a big misty um, thing on your GoPro so that's that's kind of top tip um, then you just want to slide it in like such as you can see you can just slide it in it clicks in like that you connect your little rubber doodally thing and uh, rubber protector and then you just all that's left to do is to make sure that um, your GoPro is actually really stuck in there nice so that it doesn't move back and forth like that uh, this is creaking a little bit, but generally it'll be pretty solid. It's, it's creaking because I don't actually have the bottom piece in. Um, but there you have it. Okay, so uh, another top tip, back or forward front facing or, or back facing as far as GoPros are concerned. Um, honestly, the best one to do is to twist it around and to face yourself. Um, it gives you a subject. It's a lot more interesting shot. Um, 
putting it front sounds like it would end up really being a, a good shot, but it, it, it doesn't. It ends up kind of all you see is water. Um, so uh, yeah, we definitely suggest turning this around and um, you can easily do that by just clicking that in like such, pulling it out and facing it in that direction. So there you go, a pretty functional, um, super functional as in like you can turn it around even in the water, uh, you don't have to unscrew it, um, you just unclick it like that. And then make sure, definitely again, just to keep your GoPro uh, safe in the water and so it doesn't sink 40 feet down and you lose $300, is to just put that um, that little rubber stopper in there and that stops, it really stops that from pinching together and coming out by mistake. But again, also, um, just make sure that that rope is on there and you should be set to go. So if you guys have got any questions regarding how to actually insert this on your GoPro, uh, your GoPro on your on your soft top um, Grom handboard uh, that you just received. By all means, uh, get in contact with us at support at slidehandboards.com, and we'll get back to you um, if there was anything unclear in this video. You, again, just contact us, and we'll be sure to uh, um, sort of clarify anything you may be missing. So, hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, enjoy the sun and enjoy sliding.